this is at the base of Fuego, the active volcano that erupted several days back. You can see the massive lava flow and the pyroclastic destruction that killed most of the people, not the lava, the pyroclastic smoke that come down, the poisonous smoke that overcomes the people if they don't evacuate. And then they're, they die in their homes and then they're covered with lava. And that seems to be happening a lot. Right now the death toll is only at 109. They say there's over 300 people missing. There's more than 30 shelters. And the need here surpasses uh, most understanding. Shelter is, 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 is needed incredibly right now here. My name is Kenny Phillips. I'm the founder and director of Give Me Shelter Ministries, a local uh, mission mission slash uh, humanitarian relief organization here in Fort Walton. Our most recent pressing project now is the uh, volcano relief in Guatemala. And we're working in a small area called Escuintla. And we're looking at hopefully helping with the relocation process of the refugees, helping them find a place to live, possibly even building some homes. You know, just always be constantly aware that, that how blessed we are as a country and that we should never take for granted what we have here. And I think, and I'm guilty of it, I think most of us do. Um, but also to be mindful that there are a lot of hurting people around here. I know we have hurting people here in the States too, but um, it seems like when catastrophes and calamities happen in, in other countries, third world countries, it's just, it's just so, so much more devastating. This is the village of Los Lotes. I think you've probably seen that on the news. It seems that this is a little town caught most of the brunt of the flow. That's a school right there, small school, elementary school. And you can see the, re the workers are digging out. They may be possibly looking for bodies. There's over 300 missing right now still. Um, you can see the devastation. I mean, this is not a joke. This is this is really serious stuff right here, and I'm. It's hard to even know where to begin.